Hello dear Aquarius, this is your January 2021 tarot forecast for Aquarius in all aspects of your chart, including 11th house, for a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, <laughs> Neptune, Pluto, and 11th house. Guys, I have laryngitis or something, and I can't put these off any longer. I recognize how late these are so I'm so sorry but I can't keep putting them off and I have to make this somewhat brief because I'm losing my voice but I want to get these out to you for January hopefully I'll be better for February so this is going to be somewhat brief but I, I really hope you enjoy it all the same so also congratulations Aquarius for getting through 2020 what a crazy ride all right let's get a nice quick reading out for you so I don't drive you nuts with this voice of mine right now <clears throat> and I'm doing a lot of throat clearing and so forth, so that's just annoying for everyone. Um, I'm not sick, it's just I um, have laryngitis. Anyway, here is January 2021 <coughs> for Aquarius, Sun, and Rising, Venus. <coughs> All right, Aquarius. That's nice showing up for you. Some cancer energy, fourth house energy. Your home could be impacted very nicely at this time. Your heart space, your percept perceptibilities. Okay, that's weird. She just jumped literally out twice. Ten of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I don't normally do this, but I also don't normally see the same card jump out twice. Queen, and then the Ten, and then the Seven of Swords. Um, whatever's going on with you and your family, a family situation, something that includes longevity, investments, prosperity, a cancer individual, your home, children, grandchildren, just make sure the Seven of Swords is underneath that Ten. Just make sure what you're hearing and saying um, <clears throat> is factual. Okay, even if you have a plan, just make sure that your plan is factual in case you get found out. Just make sure you're not full of BS. We have the tower. Okie dokie. Make sure you or someone else around you is telling the truth or being accurate with a cancer individual or fourth house, something around your home, legacy, longevity, children, grandchildren, grandparents. Um, <clears throat> because it could stand to come crashing down or something having to do with that could come crashing down or be destroyed, need to be rebuilt. All right, Aquarius, wow, and then this guy was just sitting there. What the heck, this is the weirdest thing. Mm, don't normally jump this much. Ace of Wands, a new passion, new direction. All right, let me just concentrate on the month for you. This is just for Aquarius. So let's get a Celtic cross out for you. As always, I'll get some oracle cards. Um, okay, this is intense, intensely beautiful. <clears throat> a couple of fives, lots of challenges, a couple of threes. <clears throat> There's that nice six. Bottom of the deck energy is the nine of wands. As you can see, I might qualify. Nine of Wands. Qualify the Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands as the as the overall energy. Why is the Nine of Wands the overall energy? Why is the Knight of Wands the overall energy? I'm gonna do these fives as well while I'm doing this. I want to clarify these fives. I'm just not talking to save my voice, guys. Okay. <clears throat> clarify the five of swords. Your future. Okay, no, just one, please. Five of swords, your future. <laughs> and the five of pentacles. Just one, please.
you have some inner demons, inner battles <coughs> right now. Excuse me, guys. Okay, I just, just one, please. Just one card. Wait a minute. These cards really want to talk about your reading today. They're jumping out like crazy. You may benefit from looking at your moon and rising sign readings as well, Aquarius. If you're a sun Aquarius, definitely check out your other readings for a nice full snapshot of the month. Just because there are definitely some challenges here for you. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to need to keep your composure here around something possibly in the workplace. Could be on the love front, um, but there could be a business venture. If this is a relationship, I would say that... There's a great deal of worry here, possibly for no reason, and you could have um, you know, there could be something coming around again, an assessment over a happy relationship here. Whenever I see a couple of threes together, I just immediately imagine that there's a third party situation if this is a lover romance reading, so it doesn't have to be your relationship. It can be a relationship around you as well. This is a general reading. So qualifying the bottom of the deck energy, which was the nine of wands, is the seven of cups and the page of cups. You actually have, do you have two pages? I thought you did. You do not. So we have one page here, um, but the cups. So the nine of wands is the wounded soldier. Seven of cups is fantasy, illusion, choices, and then the page of cups. And we have a couple of sevens here as well. So it's a reassessment. Where do I belong? Am I with the right person? Is this the right thing for me? Uh, how do I talk about this without destroying what's already there? Um, how do I get what I need um, from all areas of my life? You know, what, it might have been an uphill battle to choose who to give your cup to, who to spend time with, <clears throat> who to... be open with who to show your heart to who to give your heart to we saw that cancer or the queen of cups jump out several or a couple of times there and there could just be maybe a peace offering around a cancer individual here as well let's get into it guys i want to make this somewhat brief like i said so i don't drive you crazy with this voice from some sort of gravel pit here um <clears throat> Magician is the situation for you. So this is, you know, Mercury. Um, you're really in this. You're in fellow air sign. So you're going to be able to really actualize whatever you want right now, guys. And I would be very, very sincere about what you want to actualize because you may get exactly what you're thinking about. And if you're thinking ne negatively or worrying or trying to get one up on something <clears throat> or trying to win something here, like win an argument or something, I would say that you could easily do that. Um, but where is it going to get you? You know, why is that so important would be another reason that I would would be another way that I would frame this as well in your near future. I would say avoid an argument at all costs here, especially with a cancer individual, any water sign individual. I would make kiss and make up whatever that means to you here, um, because your direction, your future is going to is going to rely on and how you communicate to a boss or a person in authority or someone who is an entrepreneur. That's how I'm reading this right now. If this is a love reading for you, I would say that you are in the spotlight. Like somebody really wants you. Somebody, you are hot, sassy, molassy stuff right now. You can pull in a lot of suitors right now. Um, you could have at least one person offering you a cup, asking you out interested in taking this to the next level finding out what it is you need to be happy in a family situation um this person i would suggest has a very sincere sense of self and a sincere motivation behind this communication or relationship or partnership um yeah and in any other venture this is just spell success i would spend a lot of time on positive thinking in terms of getting yourself ahead these are it's like the magician and the witch here <laughs> so there's a lot of magical um fruitful <clears throat> pretty powerful energy here right so we have mercury mixed with aries and aries is the first house so it's like you it's it's the passion 
it's what you really want. And it also, you know, Aries rules the child. It's the infant. So like if you, if you, you can have a tantrum here. Okay. And that tantrum is not going to help you. <laughs> or you can be self-composed. See, the Queen of Wands often comes into a fiery situation and she develops self-composure. And you're seeing this here over that Five of Pentacles. And I really feel like this is a warning here for you in the month of January. It's just like, gather some control over yourself so that you look like and you act like a leader here. Because someone is going to try to best you. Someone's going to try to come up and see here. Someone's going to try to win a battle of the wits, a battle of the words. Someone's going to lose sleep over some sort of ridiculous argument. And it's going to color your future. Okay? And I would suggest here, if you're trying to win an argument, and this is an uphill battle with a cancer individual or someone who's an entrepreneur or in charge, I would just say don't. Because something, it's going to... Yeah, you're going to have to re-collaborate. You're going to have to do something over. I mean, if that's what you want, we did say that we did see the tower there. So something may need to do, like, be completely uh, undone as well. So that's possible, right, guys? If you really feel that something needs to be completely overhauled here and it's going to cause some headache and it's and it involves a winner and a loser. I mean, by all means, go for it, right? Like, if you really feel that's the best thing to do, I think I would still exhibit some self-control here. Ten of Cups is what's coming in, uh, rather, uh, the foundation, and then the Seven of Pentacles is what's coming in. So the foundation is a little bit of anxiety around a happy home, doing something perfect. I would say perfectionism is not your best friend here this month, so try to avoid perfectionism. Do your best. You know, really inject this Nine of Hearts energy into what, whatever you do. I know we're seeing Ten of Cups, but... Ten of Cups is the whole family. Nine of Cups is just you doing it for pleasure because you like it. So, you know, where's your heart? Inject your heart into it uh, versus, and, and you know, your Nine of Cups, for example, is talking about living in the moment, right? The Ten of Cups <clears throat> is like, oh God, we got to plan for the grandkids. Like we got it. like, is everyone happy? And you're a little bit nervous about it. So, you know, just kind of live in the moment here. Pay attention to what's going on in your thoughts and your intentions right now. What's coming in is the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, something's being reassessed here, 100%. Something's being readjusted, reassessed. We see these two sevens here. Sevens are always a reassessment, a readjustment, an editing. And it could just be about like your path for the future. What do you want to see the most? Maybe you want to get close to a Cancer individual or a Water Sign individual. And it's just like, they're not coming through for you. Or you have to put in so much effort. Or it feels like it's uphill. Or communication. Um could be lacking <clears throat> more about behavior right like how someone's behaving here in your recent past we have the world so we have tectonic change and then you know mirroring on the other side uh, in your near future is the five of swords qualified by the nine of swords so if you have an argument here it is going to keep you up so this is a portal this is you want to get to the next phase saturnic energy just make sure you're going in the direction that you really want to go in here and make sure that <clears throat> someone else around you doesn't try to drag you down to their level this is what i consider worry and concern and anxiety over a petty argument <clears throat> pardon me how you see yourself is the five of pentacles so this is rejection loss this is abandonment. So you have to have a lot of self-control here, guys. A lot of inner strength. Okay? It's your second five. Fives are always conflict and chaos. We have an argument over here. We have abandonment and rejection over here. You know, if, if you want to leave a job, if you want to leave a relationship, then, you know, now's the time to do it. Like, have that nasty argument. <laughs> Consider it over, you know, cut your losses and leave would be a way to frame that but if you're really trying to stick around or trying to understand somebody or get to the heart and soul of something here and you really care about it and you see it developing in a way that it just hasn't and you just need more input more help <clears throat> you know if that's the case for you here <clears throat> definitely reach out and get that because you know, if your heart and soul is in it, then you have to plow through with it. You just have to cut your losses. 
here in the how others see you is that collaborative energy. So if you are in a new relationship here, you're willing to collaborate with a new person. The Seven of Cups gives you options. Uh, if this is a business venture or a workplace situation or collaboration within really any environment, right? This is really about you collaborating with at least one other person. There's usually three people involved when I see the Three of Pentacles. And this is what I mean. Like if you're dealing with a relationship, you know, just be aware that there could be a third party situation. And it may even be a ghost. Like it may not even be another physical body. It could be that the person you're dealing with or you yourself and the person dealing with you has to deal with, you know, your ghosts from relationships past. So, you know, you want to get rid of those. Okay. So you can live in the moment. This is where the power is here in your hopes and fears is what am I getting for this? I think you just could be feeling overall really dissatisfied here at the last couple of weeks of the month, <clears throat> especially if you've had an argument. There's just still in a level of dissatisfaction. Should I stay or should I go? And then your six of cups with your outcome is a reunion. This is a soulmate connection, longing for simpler time, sentimentality, intuition, you know, we have so many cups here. I think you want to be seen as someone or you want to communicate as someone who is childlike, innocent. Um, remembers the good old days, you know, craves the good old days, craves a sense of stability and healthy partnerships. Six of Cups is a nice card to end the reading with um, going into February as well as an advice card, right? It can be considered an outcome card, but also as an advice, it's just saying, you know, try to remember the good times, like put some balance back into any arguments. Um, remember what's special about the union or the connection. Holy smokes. Those, okay, I will take all of those. It's not a difficult reading for you this month, guys. It's just, I would say that you, you're going to be entering a whole new layer or level, um, either through an argument through something, even if you're avoiding an argument, it's going to keep you up. It looks like it's going to keep you up either way or it's going to create some anxiety. Wow, you have a lot of advice from the oracles here. So we have bat, a possum, and dog. Um, the dog is loyalty. A possum is diversion and bat is rebirth. So yeah, you can really bounce back from something here. Just make sure um, that it's, you know, that you offer a sincere cup here. And maybe that's why you are ticked off. Maybe that's why some, an argument does hurt and you do feel rejected because you are doing something here with love. And it's just being denied or it's not being appreciated. So here we have thinker, round and round, and TikTok. So TikTok is time and timelessness. So you could have, you could just be over something here. I find with TikTok, there's a sense of like, especially when we have round and round, there's a sense of like going over something like, over and over and over and yeah you really and we saw that tower jumping out at the beginning so I really feel like you could even be willing and able to have that difficult conversation or argument here in order to just move on okay so that I mean I expect it by the second to third week here and like I said if, if you're ready for that discussion if you're ready to make known what it is you want or don't want here then it's just it's the nature of the beast you're going to have to have a difficult conversation someone's going to be ticked off like that's the way it is but you have to in order to find that, you know, um, that peace, that sense of sentimentality, that positive give and take. So round and round is really looking at the spiral of um, cause and effect and then thinker. Thinker is really saying, really pay attention to what's on your mind. What you're thinking you're going to be manifesting here with that queen of wands and that magician there, like straight up. Passion and attraction. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully what did i say from the very start like really really pay attention to being in the moment like don't look to the past you've already gone through some sort of 
you've already surpassed something here, so don't look at the past. Um, but really pay attention to the moment. Let someone else screw something up would be another way I can frame that too. Like if you're, if you're in charge of yourself or exhibiting self-control, someone around you gets to look and act crazy. So just let them do that. Um, and then ideas and inspiration. I really feel like you can be buried by your own ideas and inspiration or you can be um, inspired by them. So again, it's just how energy is being used and a lot of positive energy here for you with regard to a new direction, either in love or business here. So really nice for you. Thank you for putting up with my weird voice today, guys. I will see you in the next video for your sign. Bye for now.